Arably rejected U.S. President Donald Trump's Middle East peace plan, at a meeting of foreign ministers in Cairo, saying it would not lead to a just peace deal. The Arab League will not cooperate with the U.S. to execute the plan, a communique said, and added, Israel should not implement the initiative by force. The pan-Arab bloc convened in Cairo days after the U.S. unveiled its plan, which is seen as favoring Israel. The meeting brought together Arab senior officials including Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas, Saudi Arabia's foreign minister, and the United Arab Emirates Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. In the Israeli Arab town of Um al Fahim, residents are scared and angry over U.S. President Donald Trump's peace plan, which sees them as part of a future Palestinian state. At the same time, the deal of the century would give the Jewish state a green light to annex chunks of territory in the occupied West Bank, where more than 400,000 Israelis live in settlements deemed illegal under international law. As a part of an exchange of territory, the Trump deal, entitled Pace of Prosperity, could transfer control of the Arab Triangle, a cluster of 14,000 villages where more than 260,000 Israeli Arabs live from Israel to a muted Palestinian state. Hundreds of Lebanese marched through the streets of the capital and the main northern city to reject a new government named to deal with an economic crisis, which they say lacks a popular mandate. The new government, named in January, came off two weeks of political stalemate and amid nationwide protests, while Lebanon grappled with an unprecedented economic crisis. Backed by the two main blocs in parliament, the government is awaiting a vote of confidence, which it is likely to get. But protesters say the government is an extension of traditional political parties they have denounced as corrupt. Syria's regime started rationing subsidized food like rice and sugar with smart cards in the latest measure to address an economic crisis in the war-torn country. The value of the Syrian pound against the dollar has plummeted on the black market in recent months, sparking price hikes on key food items. The Ministry of Internal Trade and Consumer Protection said thousands of Syrian families for the first time used cards with built-in microchips to track and cape their purchases of subsidized food. Saudi Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah stressed that the kingdom will not hesitate in supporting the brotherly Palestinian people in reclaiming their legitimate rights through all possible means. He reiterated Saturday that the kingdom was committed to the establishment of an independent, sovereign Palestinian state, according to the 1967 borders, and with East Jerusalem as its capital. Prince Faisal was in Cairo when he attended the extraordinary Arab League Foreign Ministers meeting that was held to address President Trump's controversial Middle East peace plan. The U.S. Special Envoy leading negotiations with the Taliban was set to meet with the Afghan president and official confirmed in an apparent renewed push for talks on an agreement with the insurgents. Washington and the Taliban are still wrangling over a possible deal that would see American troops begin to leave Afghanistan in return for security guarantees. However, in recent weeks, the U.S. has been largely quiet on the exact status of the talks. Former Communications Minister Mohammed Alawi was named a Prime Minister designate by rival Iraqi factions after weeks of political deadlock, three officials said. The choice comes as the country weathers troubled times, including ongoing anti government protests. The selection of Alawi to replace outgoing Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi was the product of many backroom talks over months between rival parties. 
Finance Minister Ghazi Wazni said that the Lebanese government has taken a central bank circular aimed at regulating the relationship between banks and their customers and will study and decide on it within days. Lebanese banks are seeking to prevent capital flight, have tightly controlled access to deposits and blocked most foreign transfers since October, when anti-government protests brought along brewing Lebanese economic crisis to a head. However, the authorities have not yet introduced former capital controls regulating these measures. Turkey has started building a military base inside Mitiga International Airport in the Libyan capital Tripoli. Mitiga is the only functional airport in western Libya, fighting for the closure of Tripoli International Airport in 2014, and it has been shut ever since. Earlier, France's Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier this week spotted a Turkish frigate escorting a cargo ship, delivering armored vehicles to Tripoli in defiance of the UN embargo. According to Arab and Western media, the United States targeted in a drone strike the leader of the Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, Qasem al -Rimi. According to the New York Times, he was targeted after months of tracking by using aerial surveillance and other intelligence, three current or former American officials revealed. The U.S. State Department offered a $5 million U.S. dollars bounty for information leading to his capture and later doubled the reward to $10 million, as he was linked to numerous plots against American interests. U.S. President Donald Trump's adviser Jared Kushner has described aspects of the newly released White House peace plan as an amazing step to break a logjam in Israeli-Palestinian relations. He was referring to the fact both Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and his electoral rival Benny Gantz has endorsed the plan. He attached a special significance to the plan's call for international freedom of religious pilgrimage to all of Jerusalem's holy sites, notably the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The UAE's Ministry of Health and Prevention announced that a new case of coronavirus has been diagnosed in the country. The person, the fifth to be identified as having the virus in the country, arrived from Wuhan, the center of the virus outbreak in China. All five their patients are in a stable condition and the ministry called on all citizens and residents to adhere to guidelines that it has provided. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas was urged on Saturday to take part in talks based on a new Middle East peace plan rather than reject it out of hand. He spoke as Arab League Foreign Minister's meeting in Cairo rejected the new plan announced last week by U.S. President Donald Trump. They said it was unfair to the Palestinians and would not lead to a comprehensive and just peace. A man accused of killing two police officers while acting as the leader of an al-Qaeda group in the Iraqi city of Fallujah was arrested in Phoenix, Arizona. According to a statement by the U.S. Attorney's Office, District of Arizona, Ali Yusuf Ahmed Anuri is wanted in Iraq on charges of pre-mediated murder of the Iraqi police officers in the year 2006. An Iraqi judge issued a warrant for Anuri's arrest, and the government there issued an extradition request to the U.S. Justice Department.